everyone welcome back to my channel so today we'll review algebra one part two okay let's so let's take a look at question number 11 what is interquartile range i will give you 10 seconds to think about the problem so interquartile range is basically third quartile minus first quartile okay so your q3 minus q1 you can also write upper quartile minus lower quartile all right let's take a look at question number 12 how do you check whether a number is rational or irrational using a ti84 calculator okay so let, let me read the question one more time how do you check whether a number is rational or irrational using a ti84 calculator and let's say for example they give you a number like this 0 0.25 okay you want to find out w whether or not 0 0.25 rational how can you find that out using ti84 calculator so i will give you 10 seconds to think about the problem okay So on your TI-84 calculator, you press math, enter, enter, okay? So you press math, enter, enter. So on the TI-84 calculator, if you put 0.25 and then math, enter, enter, it will give you 1 over 4 okay so since 1 over 4 is a fraction it is going to be a rational number okay it is going to be a rational number so what is a rational number rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction okay um, you can also have a number like uh, let's say 1 okay 1 is also a rational number because 1 can be written as as a fraction okay all right so let's take a look at question number 13 how do you find the area of a rectangle so do you remember the formula i will give you 10 seconds to think about the problem So the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. All right, let's move on to question number 14. What is the quadratic formula? So the question is, do you remember the quadratic formula? I will give you 10 seconds to think about the problem. So the quadratic formula is this. X equal to minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2a okay and the quadratic equation looks like this ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero for example you can have something like this 2x square minus 5x plus 1 okay so using this quadratic formula you can actually solve for x 
okay just to be clear a is equal to 2 b is equal to negative 5 and c is equal to 1 okay in this case let's take a look at question number 15 how do you tell if the slope of a line is positive or negative so i have four dif different scenarios okay so what do you think is it is it positive slope negative slope i will give you 10 seconds to think about these problems okay so the question is how do you tell if the slope of a line is positive or negative all right so let's take a look at the first graph okay so in our first graph it seems like the the line is increasing since the line is increasing okay let me write in increasing since the line is increasing our slope our slope i'm just going to use m uh, i'm going to use m so our slope is going to be positive okay let me write slope so our slope is positive okay in the second graph the line is decreasing okay how do i know as you go from left to right it's going downward okay so this is decreasing so the slope will be negative okay so this is a positive slope it's a negative slope all right let's take a look at three graph number three so what do you think so it seems like the line is constant right it's not going up or down that means the slope is going to be constant okay so slope is going to be constant what does that mean your the value of the slope does not change okay it will remain the same so to make long story short if you have a horizontal line if you have a horizontal line the slope will always be constant okay so in this case the slope is going to be equal to zero so in graph number three the slope will be zero okay because it's not increasing or decreasing we have let's take a look at the last graph so if you have if you have a vertical line the slope will be undefined okay slope will be undefined all right so let's look at uh, the graph number three one more time i hope i didn't confuse you the idea is if you have a horizontal line the slope will always be equal to zero okay let me say it one more time if you have a horizontal line the slope will always be zero okay all right let's move on let's do one more all right can we multiply so what do you think what's going to happen if i multiply two positive number i will give you 10 seconds to think about these problems okay so positive one times positive one negative one times positive one positive one times negative one and negative one times positive one i will give you 10 seconds okay so positive one times positive is going to be positive one okay negative one times positive one is going to be negative one positive one times negative one is going to be negative one 
negative 1 times negative 1 when you multiply two negative number it becomes positive okay so uh, let me know if you have any question uh, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe